Hello dear student, this is Dr. Agnes Kharath and with me you are studying animal ecology. Now we will study introduction to ecology. This is your first chapter. In this chapter you will be studying concepts of ecology, environment, population, community, ecosystem, biosphere, autoecology and synecology. Let us begin with concept of ecology. Student, ecology it is actually a Greek word. It has a Greek origin. Eco means house or living relations and logy means study. So what is ecology? It is the scientific study of the distribution, abundance and relations of organisms and their interactions with the environment. See once again ecology, it is derived from Greek word. It means house, okios means house and logos means study. Therefore, we can say that ecology is the study of interactions between organisms and their environment. It includes biotic factors as well as abiotic factors. Biotic factors means living factors and abiotic factors means non-living factors. Now, uh, we are going to study two more important definitions of ecology so that your concept of ecology will be more clear. The scientific study of interactions between different organisms and between organisms and their environment or their surrounding is called as ecology. And one more definition is ecology is the distribution and abundance of living organisms and the interaction between organisms and their environment. The environment of an organism includes both its physical habitat which can be described as the sum of local abiotic factors. These abiotic factors are like climate and geology as well as the other organisms which shares its habitat and they are the component of biotic factors of that habitat. So these are the two important definitions of ecology. Now we will see what is environment. Environment, this word is derived from the French word environer. It means encircle or surround. The study of environment is called as ecology or environmental science or environmental studies or we can simply say it as environmental education. So what is environment? Environment is surrounding which encompasses all living and non-living things occurring naturally on earth or some region thereof and according to Environment Protection Act 1986 it is the sum total of water, air, land, interrelationships among themselves and with the human beings and other living organisms. So the various components present around a man are called environmental factors and these environmental factors includes both abiotic as well as biotic factors. So we will see what are biotic factors. Biotic are the living factors that influence an ecosystem. Now in the picture I have shown you the grassland ecosystem. Here you can see all the plants, whatever animals are present, organisms are present, microorganisms, all they form a biotic component. Whatever is living that will be included into biotic components. Abiotic or non-living factors that influence an ecosystems are uh, temperature, precipitation, humidity, wind, nutrients, sunlight, then um, earthquake, rocks, flood, soil, cyclones, volcanoes, etc. All these non-living factors are included into the abiotic ecosystem. Now since we are studying ecosystem we should understand few important terms which frequently we are going to uh, use in this ecosystem. The first important term 
or the first important component of ecosystems are producers now producers are the organisms who can synthesize their own food material we call them as autotrophs so these are the autotrophic organisms now for the producers sunlight is the main energy source for life on the earth so this producers either they use light or chemical energy to synthesize their food materials so who are the producers present on the earth green plants then plant like protist for example algae and some bacteria so green plants they synthesize their food material with the process called as photosynthesis and for this they use light energy to convert carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and carbohydrates see this is the dynamic equation and we should always remember this equation 6co2 plus 6h2o in the presence of light energy gives 6o2 and glucose molecule here it is the diagrammatic representation with the help of uh, sunlight carbon dioxide and water plants perform photosynthesis and the by product of photosynthesis are oxygen and glucose molecule then another process uh, which autotrophic organisms they perform is chemosynthesis some organisms they produce their energy by using chemical energy uh, so this chemosynthesis is mostly performed by bacteria and uh, they produce carbohydrate through uh, through chemical energy so this is about producers then the second most important component of ecosystems are consumers consumers are the organisms who cannot synthesize their own food materials these organisms rely on other organisms for their energy and food supply so we call them as heterotrophs now we'll see the levels of consumer consumers there are of uh, broadly of two types first is herbivores they obtain their energy eating only plants these are strictly vegetarian organisms we call them as herbivores and the carnivores carnivores eat only animals then there are some organisms who can eat both plants as well as animals we call them as omnivores human being is the best example of omnivore and the most important component of ecosystem are decomposers they break down dead organic matter into nutrients now we'll study ecosystem what is ecosystem ecosystem it is the set of species in a given area that interact among themselves through a process such as uh, predation parasitism this definition we'll see it later but first uh, we'll see the ideal definition ecosystem is a collection of all organisms that live in a particular place together with their non living environment according to ag tansley system resulting from the integration of all living and non living factors of the environment is called as ecosystem and according to woodbury it is a complex in which habitat plants and animals are considered as one interacting unit the materials and the energy of one passing in and out of the others and according to e p odin ecosystem is the basic functional unit of organisms and the environment interacting with each other and within their own components so thus what is actually ecosystem now here you can see in the picture i've shown you the pond ecosystem or the aquatic ecosystem so accordingly what is ecosystem it is set of species in a given area that interact among themselves and this interaction can be of predation type parasitism competition symbiosis and with their 
abiotic environment to disintegrate and become part of cycles of energy and nutrients so this is the ideal definition which you should remember the relationship between species and their environment is facilitate the flow of matter and energy within the ecosystem so this relationship is very important for the flow of matter and energy now uh, let us think what shapes an ecosystem now here we can see ecosystem it is shaped by biotic as well as abiotic factors so this biotic and abiotic factors determine the survival and growth of an organisms and the productivity of the ecosystem in which an organism lives now we are going to study a few important terms which which are very important when we are studying ecosystem the first term is species what is species species is a group of organisms that may interbreed and produce offspring that is also capable of reproducing the same kind so species can reproduce the same kind of offspring they can freely interbreed in the nature natural interbreeding can uh, interbreeding can be seen in a species then what is population population is a group of individuals of a particular species occupying a particular area at a specific time now here what we can remember is this that uh, in ideal conditions population grows faster in terms of geometric rate and such growth rate without much control is known as exponential rate of growth however there are some environmental factors which control population growth that is this exponential growth and this is how they check the size of the population this balance is regained and environmental supporting capacity is kept normal for coming generation so no population can grow exponentially for a long time and if it happens basic resources like air water food they would depleted hence environmental factors play very important role to control the growth of any population and this control is known as environmental resistance and this environmental resistance is always dynamic uh, in terms of space and time hmm. so this population is of two kinds population can be mono specific population that is population of individuals of only one species here you can see uh, one species of frog so this is mono specific population the second type of population is mixed or polyspecific population now here population of individual of several species together is called as polyspecific population now in the diagram we can see birds population several species of birds are uh, called as polyspecific population they are included into the polyspecific population now the next important term is community in the living world there is a variety of organisms those live in a given unit area all the population of different organi organisms occupy a given area and we call them as community so what is community a group of several species living together with mutual tolerance and beneficial interactions in a natural area which is known as a community according to macnaughton and wolf biotic community is the distinguished group of populations interacting specifically and simultaneously with respect to area and time so community is the assemblage of number of organisms usually of different types of species which occupy same area the next important term which we should understand is 
biome. What is biome? Biome is a group of ecosystems that have the same climate and similar dominant communities. One more time we'll see biome is a group of ecosystem that have the same climate and similar dominant communities. Now here this is the world map and the same climate and similar dominant communities are shown by same color. So we call them as biome. <clears throat> Major type of ecosystem, biome is a major type of ecosystem with distinctive temperature, rainfall and organisms. So here we can see different biomes which occur on the land, tropical rainforest, temperate forest, coniferous forest, trop, uh, tropical grassland which we call it as uh, savannas, temperate grassland, Mediterranean region, mountain, tundra, desert. So this biome either it can be terrestrial that is it can situated on land or in the water aquatic. So we can remember uh, is this that many ecosystem with uh, can be present within one biomes. So one biome can include many ecosystem. What are the other factors that affect an ecosystem? The obvious factor which affects an e ecosystem is a habitat. What is habitat? The area where an organism lives is called as its habitat. Habitat provides population of wildlife with food, water and shelter and space. Then a niche. Niche is the full range of physical biological condition in which an organism lives and the way in which the organism uses those condition. It is an organism's occupation. So what is actually niche? It is uh, the need of organisms to survive. Niche is the full range of physical and biological conditions in which an organism lives. Now, we understand ecosystem, population, biome. Now we should learn biosphere. Biosphere contains the combined portion of the planet in which all the life exists. It includes land, water and atmosphere. So biosphere contains the combined portion of the planet in which all the life exists including land, water and atmosphere. So the biosphere is found in the lithosphere, hydrosphere and in the atmosphere. So biosphere is the sphere of life. It consists of plants, animals and human beings of the earth. It is also called as ecosphere. The total mass of biosphere of earth is 5 into 10 raised to 12 tons. Biosphere consists of uh, different levels. So, these levels now we will see. Levels of organization of an ecosystem. So, it starts with the individual. Different species of individual comes together to form population. Different species or same species population. Then different uh, several species in a particular area at a particular time form communities. Communities are included into ecosystem. Ecosystem, different ecosystems are uh, present in biome and all the biomes they are present in biosphere. So the levels of organization of uh, ecosystem starts with organisms which is a single living thing population, a group of organisms of the same species that live together, community, a group of population that live together, ecosystem, a communities and their physical environment, biome, a group of ecosystem that have the same climate and biosphere, all the biomes on the earth, they are included into the biosphere, biosphere and they form a biosphere. This is all the living areas of the planet.
now here it is diagrammatic representation of the aquatic uh, ecosystem uh, it starts with organism fish this is the fish population this is the several uh, several species living together in a community they form a part of biome and biome is a part of biosphere let us study subdivision of ecology ecology is broadly divided into two main subdivisions they are called as auto ecology and syn ecology auto ecology it deals with study of individual organisms or individual species in relation to environment and uh, syn ecology deals with study of group of organisms which are associated together as a unit in relation to the environment so always remember auto ecology deals with study of single individual or single species and syn ecology group of individuals group of organisms or group of uh, group of species syn ecology is uh, further divided into population ecology it studies how population grows community ecology it is the study of how population interact with each other and ecosystem ecology it's it is study of how population interact with their physical environment now let us study auto ecology in detail this term was coined by krickner and scrotter in 1902 uh, this auto ecology is also called as a species ecology or physiological ecology it has a great significance in economic biology uh, such as uh, fish culture prawn culture pearl culture apiculture sericulture poultry dairy agriculture horticulture silviculture forestry etc so wherever a single species is involved their auto ecology plays very very important role important uh, this study is important for soil conservation as well as uh, wildlife conservation auto ecology it is experimental and inductive it is the study of interrelationships between organisms and their environment at the level of an individual a population or an entire species now what is syn ecology this term was coined by krickner and scrotter again uh, it was in 1902 it includes study of community and ecosystem for example study of caves deserts deep sea system intertidal rocky shores pond ecosystem etc this is study of group of group or community of organisms and their relationship to each other and to their common environment syn ecology it is philosophical and deductive and largely this study is descriptive because it involves many uh, species at a time it is the study of ecosystem which include a biotic non living physical environment as a biotic component uh, as well as a biotic component the community of living microbes fungi plants and animals that occur together at any given spot it is concerned with highest level of biological organization entire system of interacting population in a complex and dynamic physical environmental setting so this was the introduction of uh, ecology now this is question time student match the terms on the left hand side with the definitions on the right hand side you can try it now and the answer is population ecology it's a, it is study of group growth biome biome is a areas of same climate and tundra it is example of a biome hope you understand this topic thank you